Gog in 2018, those three will remain on death row. Colorado's governor says the state took a major step forward this month with the completion of the electric vehicle fast charging corridors pro program. Joining us now with the popularity of EVs in our state is senior reporter Tony Keith. Yeah, and that popularity, it is growing, Allison, the state. So they dedicated more than $10 million in partnership with local governments to install 33 fast chargers off highways across our state. All while the Centennial State just ranked number one in the country for market share of new electric vehicles purchased. If you're noticing more and more electric cars on the road in Colorado, you're not alone. They're absolutely gaining in popularity. Kevin Shaughnessy, the president and CEO of Phil Long Dealerships, has seen the growth firsthand. We're selling more EVs than we've ever sold in our history, and every month we sell more than we've ever sold in a month prior. Based on vehicle registration data, there are 28 electric vehicles per every 1,000 people in Colorado right now. In Douglas County, 50. El Paso County, more than 20, but south of Colorado Springs, electric cars aren't as popular. In Pueblo County, only eight EVs per 1,000 people. Those numbers decrease as you go south to the New Mexico border. Digging into the data compiled by Atlas Public Policy, it shows EVs are popular along the front range from El Paso County to the Wyoming border. The darker the shade, the more EVs per people. I think infrastructure has a lot to do with why people may not choose electrified vehicles and you get into more rural areas. Uh, the distance between charging stations and the availability of charging stations, there's a lot less density on that. The Northeast States for Coordinated Air Use Management released a recent report stating that in the third quarter of this year, 25% of new cars purchased in Colorado were an EV. You know, in my role as the president of an auto group, I can, I can drive anything that I like. And, and we've got a lot of really cool cars to drive. And I can tell you that nothing gives me personally the driving satisfaction that I get driving an electric car. Now, one likely reason behind the uptick in EV sales, tax breaks. Between $2,500 to $5,000 for Colorado filers, and on the federal level, you can qualify for up to $7,500. But a heads up, that federal credit may change under the new administration in the new year.